Thank God for bladders. Why? Think about life without a bladder. Let me think. No, I don't see the benefits. Oh, you, all right. Well, okay. you to each his own. Yes! Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs with Corbin. He's he's bladderless. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon for following us. Twitter account, subscribe to the like button. You actually may be bladderless. There's a po- there's a p- possibility of that that someone is bladderless, had their bladder removed, and they have a bag. Like my dad has a colonoscopy bag. His colon, well, his colon was repaired. It wasn't removed completely. I want to hear about your dad's colon. Gonna be honest with you. Well, sorry, it's you brought up ladders. Uh, what? No, I didn't. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you uh, paying Today we got a video. This is called <laughs> "I Was in Groars of Debt" by Amitak Bakchan. Uh, what? So. Well, you know about this one. Yeah, he I do. Basically got bankrupt, basically, yeah, for, yeah. for a little while. Yeah. In this video, Big B gets emotional while recalling his days struggling. Great. When he went bankrupt and how, le- how late Mr. Uh, Duruai Ambani, an industrialist, uh, offered to help him. Okay. I'm not saying great because he had the problem. <laughs> I'm saying great because we don't. Dude, you lost all your money, Big B. <laughs> we, we so seldom truly get to see him in a, in, in a, a speaking or interview kind of scenario. So If only he was as big of a star as his, uh, as his son. son and yeah. his, his, his I told, daughter-in-law. I told that to Alexis and Andrani, the, mm. the thing where they said, Ashwarya Rai, considered by most to be the most beautiful woman in the world, and her husband, who has done 50 movies. <laughs> they, they laughed so hard. <laughs> just like we, just like we did. Poor little B. Yeah. Here we go. कमाई के सब जरिए बंद थे और सरकार की तरफ से घर पर कुर्की के छापे लग गए मेरा व्यक्तिगत बैंक बैलेंस जीरो बैंक बैलेंस जीरो यानी शून्य हो गया जीरो सर जो जितना वो देना चाह रहे थे उससे मेरी सारी दुविधा है और परेशानियां खत्म हो जाती पैसा तो हर कोई कमा लेता है लेकिन इज्जत कमा सबके पास ही बात नहीं गिर गया था 
लेकिन अपने बल पर फिर खड़ा हो गया मैं इसकी इज्जत करता हूं उनका ये व्यवहार और उनके वो शब्द मेरे लिए उस धनराशि से हजारों गुना ज्यादा मूल्यवान थे जितना कि वो मुझे मेरी संकट से बाहर आने के लिए देने के लिए तैयार थे So he went in debt because of he started a production house. I believe that's the primary reason. And obviously, either he they made some bad deals or he made some bad films and they didn't whatever money back or something. Right, which makes a lot of sense. If you open a production house, that's a big risk. Yeah, because you're you're putting a lot of your own money in there. Right, uh, which is crazy because this was probably in. When did it say that he made the production house? Um, launched 1996. Okay, so he was decades into the industry by this time. Right. So he, he started what in the 70s, 70s right? Or, or late so, 60s? Almost three decades. Yeah. Of being one of the biggest stars. Right. And went his bank account went to zero. That's that's kind of insane. I don't know how much money he had before, but I'd imagine right. it was a lot for the time. Right. But um, he's of the generation which is, is it's not surprising that obviously he probably didn't want to take a and i don't know who this other person is i'm guessing some millionaire billionaire yeah whoever um but to pull himself up and kind of uh, it, did did his work suffer during that time because it, it must something have similar thing happened to nicholas cage yeah it sure did where he went bankrupt lost everything um i johnny offered or did help i can't remember if he did help or if he just offered but obviously yeah, Cage nick cage went, went into a hard a, time went went into basically overdrive of just basically taking every every shitty job that gave him every money, right, job yeah to pay off his bankruptcy uh and i don't know why he went into bankruptcy i, I don't yeah i don't i don't either tax reasons or once again there's many reasons you can go into bankruptcy mm -hmm. but um it's it happens um i'm glad i'm glad Obviously, I'm not at the level of Big B. No, <laughs> little and little R. And I am thankful that he was able to take care of that, and that he should be proud of that. And at, but at, at the same time, um, for especially anybody watching who needs presently help or in the past has asked for help, yeah. there's no shame in that at all. No. In fact, too often we don't ask for help, and too often folks don't offer to help. And the, and then the reality is, we were we were meant for relationship, and we mm. were meant to be caring for one another. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, there is something to be said about being able to take care of yourself and pick yourself up from your own proverbial bootstraps. Yeah. However, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being helped. And granted, he's incredibly privileged because his pulling himself up by bootstraps is being entirely the biggest, different, biggest star in all of India. Yeah. And just going to get another movie role that. You know, obviously, I'm sure he, there was a situation where he was. They said the guy who did Mohabharat or whatever the name of that movie is with Shah Rukh Khan, give him the role out of out of uh, um, being a friend or whatever. Right. Uh, so I don't know why like they wouldn't just want Big B in in their film like why people so maybe there's obviously more to this story that i don't yeah know. Right, but obviously exactly. he's still a big movie star so he's incredibly right. more privileged than a, a normal person who goes into bankruptcy sure you don't just get offered movie roles sure and just take them even if you don't like the script because exactly. somebody will give you a bunch of money for it exactly so obviously i'm not saying it's not impressive and it's not great that he pulled himself no, up it's and wonderful did it, but and he should be proud of it incredibly privileged exactly <laughs> for being aware of who he is yes um as as amatak bakshan that's yeah. like if shabra khan went into bankruptcy bankruptcy it's like oh yeah i feel bad for you but i think you'll get another movie role right and 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 <laughs> it's all the, perspective and normal being, people aren't shabra yeah and choosing to decline the offer yes. when you're in that position is very different than if you are someone who has absolutely no way in hell to procure anything for yourself no yeah, yeah. like a normal person like if rick or i went into bankruptcy we don't just have too many millionaire friends that could be like hey can I borrow some money? <laughs> no. Cores of money, right? And and even if... Forget millionaire friends. Yeah. You can have friends... A thousand bucks to ...that name. have very little to their name. And you can also have friends... I mean, if... Uh, 
people get into situations where they need help with something desperately because they're going to lose a home yeah. or they're going to they're they need to pay for a medical thing yeah. and they turn to friends and friends say no cuz they just don't have it yeah. and then where do you go the most common cause of debt in america is uh, medical medical bills yeah, obviously ridiculous. which is ridiculous uh did you know our that our healthcare system is ridiculous the average credit card debt this is average and just in America, credit card debt. This doesn't include automobile debt. This doesn't include housing debt. But the last stat I read from a Business Insider or Financial magazine within the past year, $45,000 is the average debt of the American credit card. Total, total credit card debt. Is the average? Average. It must be college. A lot of that in medical. I'm sure it is, yeah. but irrespective, that that to that was astonishing to me. I don't have I don't have any debt. And it, me neither. Well, sorry, I do have a car. So I yeah, sorry. Uh, other than the paying off of a car. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah, I, I, I have the paying the off of a car, but having lived with, I've 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 lived with a mortgage. I've gone through the foreclosure of a house and having to short sell it. Mm. Um, I've gone through the repossession of a car before. Uh, I've 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 never filed bankruptcy, but I've had, you know, I, I don't. I personally don't have credit cards because I, I just don't want to have that option. Yeah, I just don't want to have that option because living debt free is feels too good <laughs> to ever put myself in a position to. Yeah. Uh, it's a, to, it's to a do tough that. thing because. I don't have a credit card either, but they're also needed. They are very much needed, so but they need to be used the right way. Need to be, I think there's a need to be a lot more education on how to use it. Because I don't think my generation was properly taught. No, was, nor mine. Especially where I grew up in Texas. It's basically credit cards are evil. Do not have right, them. Right. As opposed Versus to how to properly use credit. Teaching you to how to pay off certain things, when to pay off, so it builds your credit. And so. Yeah, you, you may not know this about me, but there was a period of time where I was a fully licensed financial helper. I had my life insurance and my Series 6 and 63, which for those of you in the know, means that I was able to help people with investments of things. Not direct stocks and bond trading, though I knew that, but the licensing allowed me to do... Uh, mutual funds or annuities or life insurance policies that had an, uh, a cash value associated with it and that underlying asset was invested into stocks and bonds. You can only do that when you have a Series 6 and 63. <clears throat> I say all of that because one of the things I did with this company uh, was teach people principles of finance that in school you learn so many things that you're never going to use for the rest of your life, but what you aren't taught in American education, you aren't taught how to balance a checking account. Mm -hmm. You aren't taught how to buy a home or when or why. You're not taught about the relationship between inflation and interest rates and what that does for you. You're not taught how to properly use credit. You're not taught how to properly plan for retirement other than just go get a 401k with a matching contributor and your employer. Yeah. You know, th th you're not taught what's the difference between a certificate of deposit and a mutual fund or a stock and a bond. I was taught about the inflation because I took economics. Well, because you specifically took that in high was, school, that correct? That was required. Yeah, yeah. That was required in, in, in that. But that, right. the other things, they yeah. don't, unfortunately. Yeah, it's, 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 it's astonishing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, great video. Shout out to Big B. Yeah. I mean, I know you're hurting right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can make fun of him because he's a jillionaire now. Um, I wonder how much he lost and then how much, yeah. like, if he didn't lose it. Like, somebody said if, like, if he didn't go bankrupt, he might have been worth more now than, than Shah Rukh Khan, hmm. which is, it's what some people call think Shah Rukh Khan's a billionaire. Uh, his net worth, I think, on it's the about internet 700 is 700,000. Yeah, he's yeah. he's right up there. Yeah, but uh, some, people think, some people think that he might have more i don't know maybe uh anyways let us know what other big b videos and the next big b film that we should watch uh, we're due for one it's been a minute yeah and if you're watching uh two things we'd love to interview you and uh, uh, uh yes. yeah you could send us money <laughs> <laughs> Just